found, and I wanted to share with you um, a testimony because I've, um, I've, I've, we've been having a prayer all week. We've been praying for things, and I've been talking with people um, here and over in, over in Europe. My father-in-law on Wednesday actually flew over to Poland, and so he is in, he's in Warsaw right now and uh, helping um, the churches and, and ministries over there and meeting more people. And then after he leaves there, he's also um, going to Germany and going to visit uh, the churches that we've had, that we're connected with over there. And where we were in Malbron, um, there had been a, a house that was, when I say house, uh, the, where the church is there, it used to be a, um, a, a gospel youth camp. And so, uh, you know, the, you could, it's a long story about that place, but it had um, housing, you know, buildings, like when you send your kids to camp for the summer, it had, had um, housing for um, teachers and staff and had housing for the young people. And they had taken the building that was used for housing um, the, the young people that used to come there, and they had turned it into dorms for um, these unaccompanied um, uh, teenagers that came from Afghanistan. And the, it's been empty, though, now for a, about a year and a half. And so the county there, which owns that property, had said, uh, announced that they're going to use that, they're going to open that up for um, housing for people coming from, from the Ukraine. And so that's pretty cool. Now, the, but it, this complex is also where the church there in Malbron meets. They rent out um, a part of that building for the um, for, from, the, from the owners there. And so they, what they want is they, their, um, they are, their prayer is that we would get one of these um, pastors or someone that's displaced that can speak Ukrainian or Russian to be able to come there and, and stay there to be able to minister to the people that, that are going to be um, housed at that building. And you know, it, who knows, that's something that could turn into a new church. It could turn into um, a, a long-term ministry. We don't know, but that's what we want to pray for. Is you want to pray, if you're praying for something, pray that Malbron would receive a pastor that can be able to evangelize and minister to these, um, to these uh, displaced families that end, up in, that end up there in Malbron. And another um, testimony, last week we had uh, Michael Turner and his wife Natasha here with us, and uh, Natasha is actually born in, in the Ukraine, and so they've been ministering for churches there um, for like 18 years in the Ukraine. They've got long-term relationships there uh, because Ukrainian churches here in America are really connected with the churches over there. And there's a, I don't remember if he mentioned on Sunday, the, a pastor that had been uh, just before all of this broke out. This is a pastor that oversees a network of churches. He had uh, flown, he flew to um, uh, Ghana to preach at a, at a conference in Ghana. And then all of this broke out while he was in Ghana. So he's out of the country. So him and his son that were, that are both pastoring there at the church, they flew back to Poland and they were trying to, trying to figure out what to do and how they could help. Is it going to be better for them to stay where they are in Poland and help or better to go back? And we didn't know at that, at that point. But when we finally got um, the word, I, talked with, um, I had talked with Michael um, in the middle of the week. And when they finally got a hold of that pastor, his name's Andre, that he was back in Kiev. And his son was in Warsaw, so they decided that one of them should be there, um, and then one of them could be on the outside to help coordinate things. And then they were, on, on Thursday as they were talking, they were asking you know, what, we, what they could do to help now that he had been in Kiev and seen what things were like on the ground. And he said that the one thing that they're going to need, he said they had enough right then, but, the, but very quickly they were going to be, the people there would all be running out of food. And so if there was any, any way that they could figure out how to get food over there, that's something that would be a, a big uh, help over actually in the Ukraine where they were at. And so then Michael got off the phone. He was talking with a, a pastor in, in Germany that they minister for when, they, when they're in Europe. And so then that pastor called him that evening and said that my neighbor owns a trucking company. And he said that we, he's got a, a semi truck and trailer. He's got a driver too that will drive it and we can, that we can use to get the food. All we have to do is pay for the gas. And so then um, the pastor said, I'm going to talk um, to, there's a, a, one of the largest um, grocery store chains in the world is actually not Walmart and Kroger. You know, it's actually European ones. And it's, uh, Etika is this huge um, uh, grocery chain that's all over Europe. And so he said, I'm going to go talk to the manager at Etika about, about food. And so while he was doing that, uh, Michael Turner started um, uh, calling people in churches that, that they um, that they're connected with here in America and the Ukrainian churches there in California where they where they live, 
and, um, and the money started coming in. And then the, when the pastor called him back in the morning, he said that Etika, the manager, said that anything that we need, we can buy for, um, for a quarter of, the, of the, the price that it is in the store. And so we can fill up the truck and, and send it over there. And then the, the pastor's son, which is in, he's in the town, a town that's close to the border, somebody there donated a building where they can bring the truck and unload it and then be able to take um, you know, minivans and stuff across the border into the Ukraine to drop the food off for people. So this all happened like in 24 hours. It's amazing. So, you know, when, when, we, when, we, when we give, like we did here, we gave and we invested in, the, in, their, in their ministry, they're directly connected with pastors, and there was a need that we never would have known about that, that um, we were able to participate in that's um, bringing the, something that they really need over. The pastor says that they need food in the Ukraine, and, um, and, and God, you know, we're helping, to, um, we're helping to provide that. That's amazing. Amen. What a blessing.